Also new at 4 o'clock, parents from all over the world gathered in Colorado Springs today to learn about a rare neurological condition affecting their children. Cardio 13's Andrea Herrera talked with some of those parents and joins us with the details. Andrea. The rare neurologi neurological condition is called DHX30, and there are only 106 cases recorded across the world. Each family I spoke with today says their main goal is to find out more information about this rare gene and ideally find a treatment for their kids. This is Isabella. She's 22 years old. Isabella is one of the first 12 kids ever diagnosed with DHX30. They said this is the numbers and letters that describe your child's condition. And, um, and then they sent us home and they didn't have any answers for even what that meant. DHX30 symptoms are similar to autism, as this gene can present itself different within each child. Heidi Lacey, Isabella's mom, realized she couldn't be the only one. So we started to, we started a Facebook group and um, we started to get more and more families to be able to connect. And eventually that turned into a nonprofit called DHX30 United. Our goal is one to like spread awareness of this. She doesn't really fit in the categories that anybody else fits in. So being able to get her proper services, like trying to make her have like an easy life as much as we can. One family even traveled from Sonora, Mexico with their 13 year old son, Mateo. It's wonderful to be here and be able to think our kids are all the same. And I feel hopeful to know there are advances and know that the newer generations won't come in and won't be alone like we were. Knowing there will be more research done gives me hope that they'll be able to help him. This rare gene is often misdiagnosed as cerebral palsy or autism, and it can only be diagnosed through genetic testing. Our uh, ultimate goal is to identify a therapeutic target which we can use to at least ameliorate some of the symptoms in these children. In other terms, it would be fantastic if these children would learn to walk and would learn to speak. The group hopes there will soon be treatment available for their kids. Reporting in studio, Andrea Herrera, Cardio 13.